Hello again, and welcome to the Master's Voice. I'm Celestial, and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers alike, you are very welcome. Today will be somewhat of a different video, but I understand um, that even in the scripture, when the servants of the Lord were working, at times you're reading the book of Acts, or you're reading perhaps inside a book such as Timothy, or you're reading one of Paul's epistles, and you come upon sections of the scripture where this person has to put practices that are out of order in God's church, in God's commissioned work. This person has to put them back in alignment. It's understandable that sometimes in the body of Christ, as we are all laboring in the field of the Lord, certain things come out of alignment. And these are some of the things that I would like to speak about today. There is, however, a prophecy included in this video. So by the grace and the help of God, this message will not be too long. Over the past, I would say over the past two or three months, it came to my attention, brought to my attention because I'm not always here. As you probably noticed by now, I'm not very engaged with comments. I have much to do. And as the blog grows, I attribute it 1 billion percent to the work of the Lord, to the growth and increase of the Holy Spirit. Just as the Apostle Paul says, I planted and Apollos watered, but it is God who gave the increase. And so as the Lord has been growing his work, I, my mandate is to watch over it and to keep my eye on the Lord's field. But it is definitely the father who has been growing his growing his field, and now there are so many new people here, and I pray that the work of this blog will have a definite impact in your heart and in your faith so that you can change into the kind of person that the Lord has prepared for these end times. But a certain thing came to my attention, and it has reached a point where it cannot be ignored anymore. I have brought words in the past warning from the Lord, especially the prophecy Ezekiel 13, I have brought words from the Lord in the past warning about people who pretend to be prophets. I find it a tragedy in this day and age that this is where Christianity has actually come to. Just as the Bible says in the last days, the false Christs and the false prophets would appear. So on one end, it is not it is not a shock to anyone who has studied the scripture to know that false prophecy and those who are false prophets themselves, those who are diviners and charmers, and as the Lord says, they have seen nothing from me, they prophesy out of their belly, that these people would arise and multiply in great number. But the reason that I'm addressing it here on the master's voice is because it is unavoidable at this point to let the, the viewers of the master's voice know that there is one ministry in particular, quite a few of them are taking the material directly from the master's voice prophecy blog, and also taking the material directly from these videos that are so time consuming and costly for me to do. And then they are passing it off as their own. Now, these videos are in the public domain, understandably, so that people can know what God is saying. And so even though this is YouTube, there's etiquette. People who want to share the videos, you are always welcome. You can embed them into your blogs as long as you say whose channel it is and who is the person that God is speaking to concerning these revelations. You're also welcome to share to your channel. There are also quite a few people who are so polite and they contact me if they want to use the material from the blog. And they've been doing this since I started in 2019. People in Germany, people in Korea, people in other countries that are so far away will contact me and say, I just want to let you know that these words resonate in my heart as the true word of God, and I am translating them into German. I'm translating them into Korean. And I always thought, Lord, you certainly are fulfilling your promise. You are making the word go far. But as I go through the blog and the analytics, I began to see, and this is just to make those who use the blog, the written blog, understand. I began to see uh, a very large um, percentage of theft of the images that I use on the master's 
voice blog, I also began to see that um, people are taking the content and this is not a problem. This was not a problem. I was aware that it was happening. The people copy the content and they're keeping it for their own personal archives. So some people are not computer savvy. Some people want to have access to the blog offline and that's fine. You're keeping it for personal use. But then there are people who are reading the blog literally as a magazine so that they can later make blog posts elsewhere and also make videos here on YouTube and then claim that the Lord revealed these things to them. And um, besides the natural lack of the fear of the Lord, uh, which is amazing to me that in order to get people paying attention to you, in order to get subscribers or likes or views or to keep your financial ball rolling, people are not afraid, one person in particular, to reach out their hand and steal basically what is, I would call it honey from the Lord's storehouse, but it's actually more of the Lord's personal voice. So the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ is this spirit of prophecy. So you're not reaching out your hand so much against the messenger, though it is the messenger that you're also raising your hand up when you perpetrate that the Lord came to you and revealed details and instructions and truths and revelations to you. You are giving falsely the impression that you are first and foremost a friend of God because as this is an end times prophecy blog. So I've already shared, if you've been here for five minutes, you are never going to come here and find a, this is your year and things are going to get amazing. And you're not going to find those kinds of prophecies because the particular work that the Lord has raised me up for is for the end times. So I celestial am called to a particular type of person. In most cases, that person is not here yet. That person is existing inside many of the people who will find this blog. That person is under a lot of layers of your unbelief of the fact that you have come from a very deceived background in Christianity. You're under a lot of spiritual fat. And what this blog is, is that it is a sharp knife, a very honed and tested blade, myself, in the hands of God to shave off off the fat, to shave off the extra, to get you past the fear, past the shock, past the many insults that I've had to endure in the past five years of sharing these prophecies verbally and then finally bringing them out in the last three years. Many things that I have had to endure, I stand here because the Lord has prepared me to cut out of that huge mass, lean and prepared people who will then be prepared to march until they stand before their Lord in glory one day. So to have anyone, whether it is innocently done or whether, as I will reveal, it is targeted and deceptively done, to have anyone reaching out their hand into this orchard that God planted himself. It is not only an affront to myself as the custodian of these prophetic words, but it is a direct affront to the Lord Jesus Christ. So as it were, not to give too much um, play to this, but as it were, I began to notice that people are following a particular ministry in the UK. So they are following this ministry in the UK. And whenever I would come back to check the comments after a few days, I would see people always saying, oh, it's the same thing. You guys are the saying the same thing, saying the same thing. And um, I, I thought nothing of it at first, but then um, people began to contact me privately and say that I know that someone is taking not only your prophecies, but even the particular teachings that you give as you are prophesying, the particular words that you use, the particular phrases, the particular books that you tell us to read, the particular popular culture references that you make, these things are beginning to pop up verbatim in another place. And so eventually I had to take this matter to the Lord. I had to take this matter to the Lord and especially with the theft of the prophetic words 
in their written form. I had to take these things to the Lord and I laid them before him. And as is my custom, I'm prepared to wait upon the Lord until he will adjudicate a matter. You see, false prophecy is flourishing especially here in America, but the reason it's flourishing around the world, the reason we have such a rise in these charlatans, for instance, people that are sprinkling sand on people in Africa and telling them this will heal your cancer. There are people that are stripping women naked in West African churches and telling them, as I squeeze your breast, I am healing you of breast cancer. And these men are having women take off their clothing. True story. If you have time, you can see these things because people send me the most amazing things. And when I have time, I will check them out now and then. They are spraying people with all kinds of things and telling them, as I spray you, this is like the blood of Jesus and it will mist the demons off. And if you find this a little hard to believe, just because you're in a Western place, maybe you're listening from the United States, you're listening in Europe, understand that the false prophecy in America is some of the most sophisticated that I have ever seen. I I did an entire series on deception, and I said that deception, if you think yourself so discerning, deception isn't actually when you can tell red from blue, because even a child can tell red from blue. It's when you're unable to discern between light blue and light blue, when the colors and the textures appear so similar that you think they are the same thing. And so there are many people affiliated with this ministry who think they are the same thing. And there might even be some who would say, well, how do you know that the Lord is not speaking? Because I have been with the Lord for 20 years. And when you are with the Lord, there are things that become so refined in your perception that even by looking, a practice tailor can tell by looking at a particular bolt of cloth if this is true silk or not, if this is the real linen or not. And so the deception that we have in the Western world is highly empowered because of the technology that we have in the Western world. Take myself. There is an entire written book, and I will get to that. There is an entire written book, and that book was given to me from the period 2012 until now. So this year makes it 10 years since the Lord has been revealing things to me, since the Lord has been speaking to me about what things have started to come and what things will come in the end. But for 10 years in the friendship and the counsel of God, I have allowed the Lord to shape and prepare me into a vessel tried and tested in his presence so that when I'm bringing these things out, I'm not bringing them out sensationally. This is not a, oh, look what God told me. Oh, this is going to happen. This is going to happen. No. In fact, I often say that if I was an untried vessel, this would just be a highlights real for me. So something to reveal, to show people that I can reveal. A true prophet is able to reveal and teach of what they're revealing. They can go into this word anywhere and take of the truth, hunt down the truth like a deer and bring it out and feed it to God's people because God's people have been eating Oreos and cookies and sugar. And God's people have now a taste for that in their mouth so that when the true food comes, when the strong oatmeal that builds a baby's bones and when the bread that teaches a baby to use its teeth and when the meat that now young men and grown men should receive. When this is coming forth, people don't want it. And people keep saying, oh, but that's not what so-and-so says. But in this case, where someone is not only causing an affront to my person by taking words from my community page, I will share on the community page, I said, personal things that God has told me. So this is not stuff that God has said, this is a prophecy that you must share with my people. But these are the private things that the Lord shares with me. And because they directly affect, especially us here in America, I said that I would use the community page to share the truths. And then within a few days of me putting something up like the banking crisis, a video pops up on this UK ministry, take your money out of the bank. And so at the Lord's instruction, 
I was forced to look into the matter. And that also is biblical. The Bible says don't entertain an accusation against anyone unless you have at least two or three witnesses. But the weight of witnesses, many of them who actually use this woman's um, her YouTube page in the UK, the weight of them had become so pressing that I had to say, Lord, what should the matter be? And the Lord said to me, celestial, expose it and rebuke it. And he also has words for this person. So I think what I will say is this. When the Lord began to instruct me concerning this matter. He said to me, Celestial, go to the beginning of Ezekiel. And so I go to the beginning of Ezekiel. And here, let me read to you. It says, on the fifth day of the month, the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity, the word of the Lord came expressly to Ezekiel, the priest, the son of so-and-so, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Shabar. And then you go to the beginning of Jeremiah, he sent me. And there you see the Lord specifically telling Jeremiah, I made you in your mother's womb to be my prophet. You go to the beginning of Ezekiel. This is the exercise that he was doing with me when I was seeking understanding about how to handle this matter. He sent me to the beginning of Isaiah and it says, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, that he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days that Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and the Hezekiah, and Hezekiah were the kings of Judah. And the Lord says to me that when he gives a word to a prophet, that word is tied to that prophet, almost like a signal ping is tied to a cell phone. Nobody else can claim that the Lord spoke that word to them. So there are particular details in the prophecy that this young woman then takes and perverts in an attempt to obfuscate or hide where she got the prophecy from. But those who watch this blog and also watch that one quickly pick up the similarities. Um, when I was doing my investigations, I think the latest one is that she was telling her subscribers that she saw the fallen angels in heaven and God was showing them to her and they looked like they were covered in paint and they were covered in gold paint. And I had to smile because as a lawyer, uh, there's one thing I know is that there are certain professions in this world that easily pick up a lie and know how to. The first profession is mothers and then police accountants and lawyers. Cops, accountants, lawyers, and moms know that when someone is lying, they will take elements of the truth and then twist it. So the minute I saw this, I knew that this prophecy came from the one that the Lord gave me in summer 2021. And the angels were not fallen, but they were the righteous angels of God that I saw surrounding the nation of America. And they looked like they had been dipped in paint from head to foot. And the paint was not not gold, but it was silver paint. And yet this person will take a sensationalized detail from a true prophecy of the Lord and then twist it and make an entire video of it. And yet the truth of the matter is that those were not fallen angels, but those were angels of the Lord. And he has sent them against America for a particular reason, which is to judge America for her crimes against children. Now, the reason that this is bothersome and problematic is because the Lord had not yet told me to speak forth that prophecy. The master's voice has 400 documented prophecies, but this channel only has 200 videos. And the reason for that is I make the videos according to what God as the vine master picks out his hand and plucks his grape and says, make this one today celestial. And so now to have someone taking the Lord's material, handling it improperly, and then on top of that, pretending that the Lord is revealing these things to them. As I said, the Lord said to me that everything spoken by Isaiah belongs to Isaiah. Everything spoken by Ezekiel belongs to Ezekiel. It will never be attributed to another messenger. Now here on earth for a while, you may be able to deceive people that the Lord did speak to you. But here is a picture the Lord gave me, and then I will bring this to a close. The Lord brought me to, I can't remember the thing now. I can't remember the exact 
scripture, but I will try to note it below. But it's Apostle Paul, and he's speaking about a master workman and how a master workman, I've taught on this, will build with gold and silver and precious stones, or a fool will build with wood and hay and straw. And I said the important thing to notice about these two types of materials when I taught on it is that gold, silver, and precious precious metals and precious stones, when you pass them through the fire, they only become more refined. But when you pass wood and hay and straw through fire, they're ultimately consumed and destroyed. And the Lord said to me, celestial, no one can steal the word of God that I give to a true prophet because of the particular ping to say, this message was spoken to this person at this time. Here on earth, they may gain temporary fame, and a lot of people are using other people's prophetic words to gain temporary fame, to gain notoriety, to appear holy. But the Bible says that what will you give in exchange for your soul? You're in the midst of sin, lying and, pre and pretending for starters. But then you're lying and pretending in a very dangerous field, a field where the Lord says, that we will either be rewarded double honor if we work honorably, or you will be judged twice as hard. Teachers, prophets, pastors, apostles, and evangelists, we receive a double judgment if we handle improperly or become corrupted or led by outside influences, sensuality, the love of money. If we handle improperly the true riches of God, we will be judged double. And why? Because these true riches are empowered spiritually to hook the hearts of people. The Lord led me to Ezekiel 13 and showed me something that I, I must say I had not seen before. And it is a particular type of so-called female prophet called a diviner who charms people. So, my main concern is for the people who will think, oh, this is out of this and this is out of, you don't understand. These are the end times. Your soul is at risk. Your soul is the price and the cost here. And yet you're sitting in a place, let's say the video is 10 minutes long or 12 minutes long, but half of it is spent singing a special song. So you all gather and you feel this is our special song. And then the other half is spent reading out personal greetings to you, a shout out to this person because you were the first person who came. And as adults, going into a time where there may not be food, where there may not be shelter, where your faith needs to be built up to an incredible level because of the things of the devil that will come upon this earth. Someone has you believing that they have the Holy Spirit flying around in their video like a bird. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit from this book, the Holy Spirit who is so much power that he was able to enter the dead body of our king and revive it to life. This Holy Spirit who was hovering over the water when God created this entire universe and everything attached to it. Are we speaking of the same Holy Spirit who struck down Ananias and Sapphira for lying? And Peter did not even say, why have you lied to me? He said, why have you lied to the Holy Spirit? That is who is flying around in a video and people are saying, oh, I saw the Holy Spirit at this mark. And I fear for the souls of God's people because he says that by the lusts of the hearts of people in the end times, this is how they will perish says to me often, by what they love, by what they pursue, by what they tolerate, they will be destroyed. And so I, to the people who use the master's voice, I would just have to say that the reason you cannot copy the content anymore, the reason that you cannot click and copy anymore is because I have to protect the boundaries of the field that the Lord has given me. This is, this is as I guess, the, the, the harshest thing that he would say. He said to me, Celestial, 
protect the boundaries of your field. And so in doing so, you will no longer be able to copy the content. Uh, you can let other people know where the blog is and they can come and read it, but at least to prevent anyone verbatim taking these words and using it to populate their blog and say that they wrote it because polite people use pingbacks. They, they link and I can see that they've linked the content, but then there are people who are just taking it and saying that it's their prophecy. And I can't speak to that. And of course, there's absolutely no way to prevent video theft. Um, so I would just say that there is a word that the Lord gave, um, a scripture, 1 Timothy 6, 5, and he said that those of a corrupt mind, those who are destitute of truth, meaning that they do not actually have the truth in them because they do not know how to seek it, they do not know how to handle it, and they do not know how to receive it from the only truth giver who is Yah. He said that they suppose that godliness is a means of gain, which means that appearing to be something that you actually are not is a great way to gain to yourself support and followers and I guess monetary supply as well. But he said, and I will read it out here, can a man rob God and win? Can anyone touch the treasures of the Most High and succeed? Be not deceived. What a man sows he shall reap because God is not mocked. The lies you have told will be exposed. The tower you built will be torn down and all the stolen material you used will be returned to their rightful owners. You will be shamed and exposed publicly in front of the very people you are deceiving. You will be put to shame. In that day, the pain of my servants will cease when they are vindicated against you, Delilah. For Delilah was also a seductress who used smooth words and charms. You are marked and you will be exposed. And it turned out as the Lord was putting this before me that I saw other people holding their chest in a pained way. And I understood that this is not the first time that this has happened. So I am not the only prophetic messenger of the Lord that this person, this woman in the UK has done this to. That in fact, she has done this to other true servants of God who have been doing this longer than me. But what I saw is I was speaking about a workman who works with precious materials or who works with corrupted materials. And what I saw is that at the end of time, just as Apostle Paul says, everyone's work will be tested by fire. But what I saw concerning not only this person, but many other people who have stolen, whether you have stolen someone else's idea at work, whether you stole someone else's business concept and you made money off of it and you built something that became famous and global, I saw that those works that contained stolen parts from other people broke off. So it was like a building that was standing, but when the Lord came to test it, it disintegrated and the pieces flew back to the original owners and built up what they had built. So when he is actually giving rewards and also judgment, everything stolen goes back to the point of origin. And I've even brought prophecies like this saying that nations that went around colonizing and stealing in the end times, they will become ashamed. God will make them ashamed and they will have to give back what they colonized. They will make public apologies. I definitely saw that the United Kingdom will do this. And the prophecy is about three years old now on the master's voice. But I saw that what this young person, what this woman had built shattered and the pieces of it flew back to the owners. And I saw that some of these owners were these older people who had been laboring for the Lord far longer than me. And she had been stealing from them as well. And so I just bring it out to you, people of God, for this is not the only type of prophet that will sit, the woman who will sit seducing people with words and, and building up a cult of popularity unto themselves. And I know that this will cause some to say, you 
you don't know what you're talking about, but I respectfully say to you that you don't know what you're talking about. If the level of your discernment is so small that you think that gathering together to sing a special song every time and you cannot even discern between the false and the true, the blue and the blue, then all I will say is, of course, you will not tolerate when these things are exposed and when these things are spoken of. But this particular person has been causing pain to many other people people besides myself. But what I know is that God says that what she has built will fall and it will fall not in front of me because I have done my due diligence and I now bring the findings of it. It will fall in front of the ones who gather there. So it will fall and be publicly exposed. As he says, in front of everyone, you will be put to shame. And in that day, all of these works and the pain that you have caused my servants will cease. And so this is celestial with the master's voice. I will make another prophecy. I'm hoping to be able to do four today if time allows. I cannot find my trusty, my trusty diary, so I've had to use a different one, but I hope to be able to put up at least two of the prophetic words, one relating to genetics, one relating to the issue of genetics, the fallen mixing with the population and what that is going to look like in the end times, including unfortunately affecting marriage, but also the Lord gave me a, a very severe word concerning a plague that we never thought we would see back in the world again, or at least hoped never to see a plague that is very familiar to people. And seeing as the root of that plague was related to something that has been going on around the world, you know what it is, the injectable solution. I may have to make a short intro for that vid for that video, for that disease that is coming back to the earth, and then put the rest on Rumble and BitChute and Brighton. Please subscribe to the channel only if the Lord is leading you to do so. And until I see you again, this is Celestial. God bless you and goodbye.